All right, I think I've got my camera. I do believe I have the camera set up correct this time. It seems to be recording. <laughs> Right, so the other day we did this KBS and uh, man this is good I liked it a little too much if you know what I mean uh, today we're gonna try another one today we're gonna do the KBS Espresso now uh, Todd over at 21090 tells me this is a coffee bomb or a hello coffee or, uh, I wonder how sweet it's gonna be. It says ale brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. Uh, let's see here. KBS gets its coffee from the very, oh, one of these days guys, I'll learn how to read. KBS gets its coffee fix in the very first variant to come from our Beloved bourbon barrel aged out. Hey, problem is I'm blind. It's really hard to read. Yes, KBS may already be brewed with coffee, but it gets some extra oomph when it's aged on espresso beans after brewing, after be being removed from the barrels. God, I sound like I can't read. The result is a fresh and snappy coffee twist on our classic barrel aged beer. Who says you can't start your day with a barrel aged stout? Well, that would be very dangerous if I started my day with one of these because typically when I start one of these, I usually finish the four pack. That's rough with these things. So we are pulling 12% uh, straight up on this one and the KBS is 12% as well, is that? Yes. So same proof. Uh, apparently this is the same beer, just got a little bit more coffee kick to it. So and, uh, I do, I do dig these. This is my number two beer. So let's crack this open and uh, we're going to let it sit for a little bit too because I have a I have refrigerated this. Look at that barrel aged, cool. Throw that in the old fancy bottle cap collection. Oh yeah, yeah, that's just straight coffee. Hmm. When you smell it, that's that's what you smell. You just smell coffee. Looks like we'll have to get a little aggressive on this pour to get get some head. I don't know if that came out right. He laughed about it. Alright, look at that chocolatey head. Pretty nice tight bubbles on top. Got just a couple big bubbles. I don't know what that means. But I see, I see all the other beer reviewers like, oh, look how tight the bubbles are. What, what does that mean? Is that some, I don't know. <laughs> Got about a, probably a good finger's worth of head on this one. Finger's worth of head is plenty, isn't it, honey? Yeah, no comment over there. Put our nose down in this. Man, that's just... I really, I don't even smell the bourbon. I just smell coffee. Give that a whiff, honey. Tell me, tell me what you smell. Just coffee. Mm -hmm. This would be a good trick to pull on somebody, though. Make a little iced coffee out of this. Hand it to them. Mm -hmm. See how their day goes after that. Probably be a wonderful day. This is a 2020 KBS Espresso. And I was lucky enough to find these. I don't know if this is a year round one. I don't know if it is or not. It might be. You guys look the beer experts.
Yeah. I've already done the review on the Abyss today, and it had a nice coffee flavor, uh, but it was uh, wasn't sweet like the KBS's. It was a really nice beer, but we're gonna see how this one holds up. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely like coffee, coffee, coffee. But once you uh, once you get it on your tongue, the mouth feel is uh, it's not as thick as I thought it would be. Mm. It's just right. Like it's uh, it's thick, but not nearly as thick as uh, like the Abyss was really thick. The Abyss is probably the thickest one I've had. It was almost syrupy, but it wasn't quite syrupy. Mmm, taste wise. Uh, definitely coffee. The bourbon comes in. There's a little bit of a. Uh, there's a little bit of a, something sour in there. It's like a. Maybe just the uh, the beer taste, but it's it's good. It's it's got a nice uh, it's got a nice finish because it it's uh, most of these the finish is, is really thick and it just kind of hangs in the back of your throat with some uh, you know that bitterness and uh, this one doesn't. This one just kind of plays across your tongue with all kinds of flavors. Like, you, I mean, you definitely can taste the coffee and the, uh, the chocolate a little bit and the bourbon. And there's some kind of a little sour note going across my tongue. Definitely, uh, definitely different. I would, I would prefer the regular KBS over this, but this is, uh, this isn't bad. I, I like it. Then again, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so. but this is cool. This would be like if you just got through drinking a big cup of coffee and then you drunk a KBS. Very good, very nice. We won't make this too long of a video. I just wanted to try this one because actually I'm just looking to drink one of these. So. Uh, I would rank this, oh, it would be down below even the Omen game. Uh, it's good. It's, it's, there, there's, I mean, it's, it, it's good beer. It, it really does taste good. Uh, smells awesome. Smells like a Starbucks. But, uh, as far as if, if I, I personally am not going to go out of my way to buy this particular one again, it's cool to have, it's cool to taste. Uh, so far, the only ones I'm out there seeking after are the uh, Bourbon County Stout 20s and uh, probably try to find some more KBS. But I think the KBS is year-round now, so that shouldn't be a problem. I don't know if this one's year-round or not. It's got a nice coffee flavor. It's got a nice little bourbon burn in the back of this. I can tell that you will not get through a four pack of these. Uh, if I can't get through a four pack, man, I'd hate to meet the guy that could. Now that I've had a few sips, I can feel that uh, that slight, slight little whiskey burn going down my throat. Very delicious, very good. I don't have anything to pair this up with. I paired up the Abyss with some chili forgot to turn my damn camera on video I had it on photo so I got a really nice photo of me sitting here but uh I don't know honey what would you pair that up with I don't know until you choose take a little tiny sip you might like that one it, it does not like the other ones nope. still a big nope. nope I think this would go good I, and I know that they kind of put the thing on there about breakfast, but I do actually think this would go good with a, like a breakfast, like maybe breakfast for dinner situation. I think that would go good with the dessert. With a dessert, like a cheesecake? Mm -hmm. mm, I bet that would go good with a cheesecake. Dessert. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about like, uh, you know, 
maple syrup pancakes and some sausage. Mmm. That would go good with that. So I think, uh, unless you're actually going to drink one of these in the morning, uh, I think if you were having like a breakfast for dinner type situation, and then maybe a maybe a big old slice of cheesecake on top of that, I think this would go good because it this is it's really sweet. Uh, very sweet very good very nice little beer um, I don't know what else to say about it did you taste a little sour or something no just me I think it's just you just you it's right. very strong to me very strong well yeah these KBS's are strong the uh, so far on my barrel age journey the uh, the KBS's and the Bourbon Counties have not let me down. Really, none of them have let me down. So many different tastes. The uh, the Abyss is uh, just a kind of a nice, straightforward barrel aged stout. There's really nothing fancy about it. It's just got a nice little coffee hint to it. The uh, Innocent Gun, super refreshing, six percent. Uh, it can lure you into drinking more than those than you should the kbs is awesome of course the bourbon counties the 20 ah the 19 is pretty good uh, what else have i done oh the oma gang that was the one and i think that was maybe the first one i've done the omen gang really surprised me and i really did like that one a lot oh the backwoods bastard i had that with travis the other night that one was pretty good. The Backwoods Bastard and the Abyss really remind me of one of the other. So anyway, I'm gonna go finish this espresso and go see who's online. Y'all take care. If you like coffee, you'll like this one. Cheers, y'all.